Hey coders, welcome back. It's me, Ayman from Math Code Tech, and today we will be learning about object methods. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. What are object methods in JavaScript? Object methods, methods are an action that can be performed on an object. And guys, before we get started, I have something to tell you all. I have not been like making any videos since like three or four days, like more than a month or a week because I was busy with my school because our school started. So yeah, let's get started. Alrighty guys. Okay. So right over here, why I know that you guys are thinking, some of you are thinking that why do we have the same code, the same picture, the same text return um, down like we did on for object types since like Muhammad made object types. Okay, so. And even though right here you guys can see object types. This is a code we used for object types, but the twist is that we use the same thing for object methods. So you know how object types, the code still kind of teeny tiny bit stays a larger, a little larger, but object method makes it a little smaller. So, yeah, let's get started now, okay. So, today we will be also learning a new function. I can't wait to learn the new function. So, the new function is called prototype. And then, yeah, let's get started. So, right over here, under our, like, you know how this is, this was our first code, the first part of the code, and then we end up with the, oh, close curly bracket. Now we're going to make our, like, the new function, use our new function. So the new function is called prototype, as I already told you that. What is a prototype? It is a property of object that we can attach functions to. To use our variable name called robot like we did in our first variable to start with our code so the first uh, the first variable was named robot so let's start with robot so we should start with the capital R and then dot now comes the best part we're gonna use our new function called proto P-R-O-T-O-T-Y-P-E, prototype, and then dot D-R-A-W. Since right here, we use the draw function, and then followed by parentheses, and end up with this, wait, and end up with the open curly bracket, and then a semicolon. Okay, now, in between our open and closed curly brackets, guess what? We are going to put our code for like the image and then the text size, the age. And yeah, so copy that code. And then paste it in our new function that we learned today. Okay, I pasted it in there. The next thing we're going to do is scroll down. Now, we don't need this no more. Neither the variable, we don't need the wire code robot variable or the war the code robot variable to like keep on remaking those robots. Okay, the main thing is, let's see, I want to make my robot baby robot appears so for that i will need to type down row baby followed by parentheses and end up with the semicolon and in between the parentheses i don't know wait 
Wait, we forgot the dot here. So row baby dot draw. Okay. And then let's scroll back up to our new where, uh, function we learned. And then, so guys, as you guys can see right here, we need to put draw is equals to function. Okay, and between the parentheses, let's um, type in the robot name we have right here. Okay, now let's scroll down. And over here, let's write row baby. And then, why is it not working? Well, we don't want to write the row baby down and neither robot in our function. <sighs> oh, wait, you guys see this? This right here we used. We're gonna make the robot this. So let's start by changing the robot x to this, and then the robot y to this, and then the third one, and then the fourth one, and then done. Okay, so the next thing we will be doing is dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's scroll down first. So we have our row baby draw right there and then let's put and then we have all the code done and ready. Let's make this uh oh. Okay, okay, come down, that one. The code needs to come down, okay. Now, what we need to do is... Alright guys, so our robot has appeared. So that was our row baby. Now I want to make my row boutine appear. And for that, we'll do the same thing. And yeah, so for the row, ba row boutine, we're going to write our variable name. That was row boutine. T E E N. Ugh, I wasn't even writing. Oh. Teen followed by parentheses and ended with the semicolon. And then dot draw. Right there. Okay, so, well, we need a dot right here. Robotine H, Robotine H. Let's put a dot there. And then ta-da! Our Robotine has appeared. So guys, that was it for this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. And hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Bye-bye. See you later.